We already discussed two types of trigonometric integrals so far. The first type is the integral of sine raised to some power times cosine raised to some power. The second type is the integral of tangent raised to some power times secant raised to some power. What if you have a trigonometric integral that doesn't match to any of the cases? So there is no cobalt recipe. You have an integral secant cosecant to the fourth times cotangent to the fourth. It doesn't match to any of the cases you have studied so far. How do you deal with this type of integral? So let's take a look at this problem. So the first thing that I would like to do is I would like to reduce the power of cosecant. So this one I would like to factor our cosecant square. So pi over 4 and then pi over 2. So this one I would like to factor our cosecant square x right here. So that means the cosecant to the fourth now becomes cosecant square x. And then the cotangent, let's don't touch the cotangent. Let's keep the cotangent in the fourth power. And then I would like to use one of the fundamental identity to rewrite the, cos the cosecant. So cosecant is equal to cotangent square x plus 1. All right, and then the rest, don't touch them. Cotangent to the fourth times cosecant square x dx. And then this is integral from pi over 4 to pi over 2. And now I would like to perform a u substitution. I would like to let u, u equals to cotangent x. And then du is equals to negative cosecant square x dx and then I have 1 over negative cosecant square x du equals to dx and then this is going to replace the dx in the original integral all right so we are going to do a change of variable so that means the cosecant square will be gone all right and then since we perform a u substitution on a definite integral, we also have to do this u of pi over 2 that is equals to cotangent of pi over 2. And then u of pi over 4, we have cotangent of pi over 4. So in your unit circle, what is the coordinate of pi over 2? The coordinate of pi over 2 is x equals to 0, y equals to 1. The coordinate of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2, comma root 2 over 2. The first number is x, the second number is y, so x and y coordinate. And then cotangent is x divided by y, so at pi over 2, we have 0 divided by 1, that is equals to 0. And then in pi over 4, x divided by y, that is equals to 1. And then you have integral u equals to 1 to u equals to 0. So after you do the change of variable, it is normal to have the lower limit greater than the upper limit. So don't worry about the 1 greater than 0. Don't worry about it. Everything will be OK. And then the cotangent square becomes u square plus 1. And then cotangent to the fourth, then that will be u to the fourth. And then we have a cosecant square x. And then the change of variable, so we will do a 1 divided by negative cosecant square x dx. And then we cancel the cosecant square. But there is a negative in there. All right. So let's put the negative outside. So let's keep the negative one outside. And then we have integral from 1 to 0, u to the 6th power, minus, plus u to the 4th power, and then d, du. So this is a du, not dx. This is a du. And then uh, I think that it is OK to just bring the negative one back. So let me just erase this negative one and then distribute that. So that becomes a minus u to the 6th and then minus u to the fourth du. And then you integrate, so that is negative 1 over 7, u to the 7, minus 1 over 5, u to the fifth. And then such that u goes from 0 to 1. So once you plug in 1 to 0, u goes from 1 to 0. So once you plug in the 0, you have 0 minus 0, 
and then minus, you plug in the 1, you have negative 1 over 7 minus 1 over 5. So this is uh, 1 over 7 plus 1 over 5, that is equals to 12 divided by 35. So that is the answer to this integral. So in this video, I just explain what if you have an integral that doesn't fit into any of the cases. So the best technique is you reduce the power first. So pick a term, pick a trigonometric term, reduce the power first, and then reduce at least you have a second power. And then we call one of the fundamental identity, do some rewrite, and then perform a U substitution. All right, so that is the end of this video. If you think my instruction is helpful, let me know in the comment below, like the video, share the video for me, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Signing off for now, see you all in the next video.